Have you ever wanted to record two sources at the same time? Like for example, your gameplay and your webcam separately so you can mash them up in the editing process so it's easier and you don't have to downscale and upscale everything. It's actually really simple and there is a plugin in OBS to set it up. We're gonna go over the plugin right now and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. If you guys don't know, my name is Agent. I'm a full-time Twitch partner. I stream every single day except Sundays. Link is down. In the description below i would love to see you there now how do we set up a plugin that records sources at the same time in two different ways that we can use in the editing process so there's actually a source record plugin on obs that we need to set up download and it's very very simple to set up i will go over the process right now so first thing you gotta do is go to the website that i will link down in the description below it is the official obs a forum and you over here you'll see source record 0.2.6 this is the latest version at the minute maybe later on there will be more updated versions so right now this is the most updated version and it's from the one and only exeldro if you have any obs plugins there's like a 99 percent chance that exeldro made it he makes everything for obs he's an absolute legend shout out to him so we're gonna be using his plugin and we're gonna set it up all you have to do is click download and then it's going to prompt you for whatever you want, Mac, Linux or Windows. We're going to set up the installer. So just download it, uh, extract the zip file and run the installer. Then you will have it on your OBS. Once you open up the OBS, I'll show you how to set it up inside of it. All right. So now that we are in the OBS, if you uh, want to record your webcam and your gameplay separately, what you have to do is go to sources and over here, choose a source that you want to record separately so for example uh, i want to record my uh, webcam separately so that's my avermedia duo i click right click filters and over here i see myself so that's my webcam right now i can add another filter if i click on plus over here it will show up source record so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on source record and we're gonna click ok first thing we need to uncheck this button so what this button does i'll Tell you later on just uncheck it right now and then over here you have record stream and all these different settings we're gonna go over all of them one by one so you have record which basically uh you you can choose how you want to record it if you want to uh record it none like never always uh if you want to stream and recording streaming or recording or, or virtual camera so if you choose none it's not gonna record if you choose always the reason why we unticked this eye right here is because if we choose always and the eye is ticked, it's always going to record and it's going to fill our memory forever. So we don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, there's also streaming and there's recording. Because we're in the record mode, we're going to choose recording. Uh, you can choose your own path, whatever you want to save the video. You browse that. File name formatting, you can leave it default or you can make it uh, custom, whatever you want to do. You can add like dash uh, cam or something like, for example, do this. That way, you know, this one is your camera or I, I don't know, whatever you want to set it up to. Uh, recording format, you obviously don't want to use MP4 because if something happens while you're recording, as I made in a previous video, uh, everything will be corrupted. The best uh, file format that a lot of people use is MKV. So I have it set to MKV. You can also have it uh, set for your uh, OBS to automatically transfer MKV files to MP4 files. That way, uh, you don't need to convert them in another program at all. I have everything in another video. Make sure to check it out on my channel. And so we have a replay buffer. We can even make it so it saves the last 30 seconds or a minute uh, of our footage just in a webcam mode, not the gameplay itself. So you can do that over here. And then you have the stream. So with this plugin, you can stream your webcam uh, over on another server, for example. So if you want to stream only your webcam, but not your gameplay, I don't know why you would want to do that. But if you do want to do that, you can set up your server over here. So stream, you can set it to streaming, and then you just put your server and your key, your stream key, and that way you're going to be streaming to that server all the time. If you want to do that, I don't know. Uh, different audio, you can change your audio tracks over here. And for the encoder, this is the most important thing. Uh, we are going to be changing our encoder. That way we uh, know how much quality the footage will have and how good it will look like after it records. Uh, again, I am recording this video right now, obviously. 
but you, when you start recording, you will be recording it normally and separately for each source. So that way you need to think that your CPU and your GPU will be uh, high, like it will be used a lot. So keep that in mind. Don't crank these numbers too much because your computer will blow up. Just kidding, it won't blow up, but it will struggle a lot and will drop a lot of frames. So encoder, uh, I personally use NVENC all the time. NVENC is the best, but keep in mind that there's a known issue with this plugin right now. If we go to the website, we can actually check it out. There's a known issue right here. Encoder NVENC new not working, taking output, use another encoder, and there's audio crackling. Sometimes you might have some audio crackling issues, but this is a known issue with the NVENC encoder. Again, I'm using 0.26. If you uh, have a new version, maybe this will be fixed soon. I don't know. Uh, but just keep in mind that with this version, you will not be able to use NVENC new. But that doesn't mean that you won't be able to use NVENC, the original one. So if you just want to use software is basically, uh, or X264 is your CPU and NVENC is your GPU. Because I want to use NVENC, I want to use my GPU. We're going to choose the old NVENC. And then over here, you can put whatever quality you want. Uh, my webcam can be, I don't know, 5,000 probably or, or 6,000 because uh, of the Twitch bitrate, for example. I can even use 10,000, 15,000, whatever you want. My webcam doesn't look, need to look that good. So 6,000, let's leave it like that. CBR, that's fine. Max quality high, that's all good. We can even put the max uh, B frames to two if we want to, like in the previous video that I made for the best recording settings. You can mess up with this, see what works for you, and that's all we need to do. Now we can click this, and because we, we have it set to recording, Every time we start recording the uh, the video, it will record this as well at the same time, and it will save them both in the um, in the folder wherever you have it set up. So that's for the webcam. You can do the same thing for the uh, gameplay footage. So for example, let's say this is my game right here, game capture filters, and I do the same exact thing. Plus, I go source record. I click yes, and I just copy the exact same settings again and again again and it will record all these things at the same time and you will be good to go without any issues so yeah that's how you can set up source record and record multiple sources at the same time the process is super simple super easy and again thank you Inceldro, for making all these awesome plugins saving our time and our brain cells uh while we are creating our content and just enjoying the things we love to do. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or you just uh, are wondering about something, make sure to do it down in the comments below. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link is down in the description below. I would love to see you there. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.